What's up guys welcome back to yet another video and finally oneplus has started rolling out stable version of oxygen os for oneplus 7 and 70 series in this video let's take a look what all new features have been added with this latest build before moving ahead guys we have 80 percent of users on a channel who haven't subscribed to it and they watch the videos guys it's a humble request do subscribe to our channel it will help us grow in future and let's keep a like target on this video i'm not demanding much it's only a target of 150 likes and i know you guys will do it so here i have my oneplus 7 pro on which i have already received the ota update of oxygen os 11.0.3.1 the update is rolling out in batches so it might take some time to receive it on your device I'll try to provide the download links in the description below. If you haven't received the OTA update, you can download the file, place it inside the internal storage, go to system update section, tap on this gear icon towards the right top corner, select local upgrade and you'll be able to see the file here. This way you can do a local upgrade on your OnePlus 7T series or 7 series. First let me show you the software information, going to settings and here you can see this is my OnePlus 7 Pro. Build number says Oxygen OS 11.0.3.1. And security patch has been updated to 1st August 2021. These are the benchmark results. With single core device have scored 694 and with multi core device have scored 2359. Pretty much similar scores compared to the previous version of Oxygen OS. With Android 2 benchmark application, device have scored 5,26,588. Yesterday we received the same update of Hydrogen OS, which was Hydrogen OS 11.0.3.1. And that also had the same change logs. Here we have one additional feature added on Oxygen OS, which I'll show you in a bit. Now talking about the camera, basically on this update, we did not get any kind of upgradation in the camera version. Camera version remains the same, which was on the previous Oxygen OS and that's 6.4.66. So there's no point covering camera samples. The update size on my OnePlus 7 Pro is 288 MB. And the change logs are related to system, ambient display, and oneplus store application which is only for indian region talking about the first change log which is related to system in which they have optimized the stability of nfc feature and later they have upgraded the security patch to august 2021 i personally never use nfc on my devices so i'm not aware what all issues were there on the previous update if you guys are aware then do let me know in the comment section below after that talking about the next change log which is a new addition and most oneplus 7 users were waiting for this feature and that's related to bitmoji feature as you all know always on display feature haven't been added on oneplus 7 series though it's available on the beta channels but did not make through stable channel so you guys gonna miss always on display but still you can have fun with bitmoji so that can be found inside the customization section you need to go under the section of clock on ambient display and here you'll have this bitmoji edition if you're using bitmoji feature for the first time this will automatically download the bitmoji application from play store so here i have the application of bitmoji you can use your google account to log in or you can create a new account so from here you can create avatars and those avatars will be displayed on the ambient display so from here you can select bitmoji tap on save i've already added my google account in the bitmoji application and have created my avatar so let me show you how does it look so when the screen is off you can just tap once to have a look at the bitmoji i'll update you guys about the battery drain and will let you know by using this feature how much battery gets drained on our oneplus 7 pro on this update oneplus have also added the ability to take screenshot of ambient display so as you can see here i'm using bitmoji feature tapping on the screen once and now i can take a screenshot using the combination of volume down and power key and you guys let me know in the comment section below how many of you find this feature useful and with the last change log oneplus have also added this oneplus store application which is one stop solution for all your oneplus purchases i've been always telling in my videos that applications are not required to be pushed via ot update if someone wants to install they can install it via play store or manually sideload the apk and i think oneplus should stop all these things and guys as usual i'll be doing a complete review on this build so whatever questions or issues you guys face do let me know in the comment section below or else before updating your device you can wait for a day or two after that you can update your device once i'm done with the review process so guys as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day